Okay, I'm taking this video laying in my art studio left. So I'm going to try to talk quiet because I don't want to interrupt other people. <laughs> I just got over some what I thought was really bad food poisoning, but I guess it was maybe just like a stomach, oops, stomach bug that was going around because I talked to my friend and she also had that happen. And so uh, we were in the van and Josh had just gotten home from the Netherlands. I had picked him up like an afternoon and then later we had dinner and I started to feel kind of like nauseous and <clears throat> the smell started to like bother me a lot. Uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I might throw up. And then it was like, a little while later, I mean, it was like 10 p.m. and we had been trying to sleep and I was just like, oh my gosh, I feel so sick. And I, I couldn't fall asleep. And I just kind of like jumped over him in the van and opened the door and just started vomiting on the sidewalk. And Well, actually, maybe like a patch of grass or something. Uh, and it was really disgusting. Oh, it was so gross. I forgot how horrible throwing up is. Uh, <clears throat> so that happened. And then I felt like I had to go to the bathroom. And so we like drove back to the studio because I'm not gonna be throwing up and going to the bathroom in the van. Uh, that would be just horrible. And so we went back to my art studio and there's like this huge team of uh, traveling theater people from Texas that were here. And so there was like this large group of people and I kept running past them to go to the bathroom and then I was like, oh, I think I'm fine. And then I'd like run back past and just like throwing up in the bathroom was so uncomfortable because all these like strangers are just around. And so Josh found, uh, Josh was messaging friends and we ended up staying at our friend Ken's house and we got there just like right in time and I had to like run to the bathroom again and yeah, I just had <laughs> diarrhea all night and I threw up 12 times. Yeah, 12, I counted. And <laughs> so so painful, it's terrible. Um, and it lasted the entire night, so I like didn't sleep at all and um, was mostly just in the bathroom the whole night, like running back and forth from the bathroom to the couch. And Josh slept downstairs on the couch next to me so that he could just like be there, which made me feel better because the whole thing sucked. And the worst part was that I couldn't drink any water. Uh, the whole time because every time I drank some water I just like throw up again and then I was mostly dry heaving the whole night which was really horrible so I was like so thirsty but I couldn't drink anything until sometime in the morning and um, I still felt horrible but like I hadn't been throwing up or anything and I think I got, Josh got me some ginger ale and like saltine crackers and that's basically all I had all day. I like didn't eat any food. And then yesterday, oh yeah, and while all that was happening, uh, I also had like terrible cramps and I thought maybe it had to do with the bug but I think they're actual just cramps. Um, so that just added to how horrible it was. <laughs> and so then Saturday, I was so tired, just like my body hurting from the whole night and then not having slept. And so I slept for like three hours and we just sat around and watched movies and didn't eat, I didn't eat. <laughs> and then Sunday, I like had some food and it was my friend's wedding. And so I wanted to like, you know, be drinking and eating and enjoying and like dancing. And uh, I did have a little bit of food and like a little bit of cake and I tried to dance, big mistake. I like did a little turn on the dance floor and then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna throw up again. And so I just like stood out by the fire and tried to not feel sick. And uh, today, today like food still didn't sound good, but I've been eating some stuff like fruit mostly. Um, so it's a little bit better, but yeah, one, Thing about living in the van 
that really sucks is if you get food poisoning or like a gastrointestinal bug like I did or you just get sick in general because I was sick uh, actually last month <laughs> and I was telling myself I was like I'm not gonna get sick while we're in the van I don't want to be sick and then I got sick the day before my birthday and it was horrible it was so bad and I was sick for two weeks <laughs> And then it turned into like a partly like a little bit of a sinus infection type thing, which I feel like I've just was just getting over when I got this bug the other day. And so, yeah, both of those were horrible. Um, and the only thing that saved me was uh, my art studio because, as you can see, I'm in my loft, which is oh, there's my finger. It's very cozy, and there's lots of like pillows and lights and stuff um and so I just like hung out here when I was sick and watched movies and slept but with the <laughs> stomach bug the other night like I didn't want to be in the art studio on the nasty floor with the nasty toilet like vomiting the whole night and so it really saved my ass to stay at a friend's house and I can't imagine if we were <laughs> traveling in the van and that happened or if we didn't have such a tight-knit community as we do who's like really happy to take us in at any minute like middle of the night doesn't matter um if we didn't have that I don't know how like the van would just kind of suck if we didn't have that and these things happen but um I suppose if it happened on the road like you could always get a hotel or an airbnb but which is I'm sure what we would we would do, but it was really nice to stay at a friend's house, and I think he enjoyed having us, and it was a good little break from the van, I guess. <laughs> Although not, like, my choice uh, option. So, yeah, I'm super glad that's over, and I've just been recovering today because I still don't feel that awesome. And I think for other reasons, I just kind of feel, like, dizzy and super tired today. So I've just been hanging out at the studio, but yeah, definitely a tip for living in the van is if you get sick or you start throwing up, uh, you should definitely stay at a friend's house or get an Airbnb.